we'll call this meeting to order. Roll, roll call. Let's call stories. Sanders Ashley. Yes. Parkins Boots. Here. Item number three, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll just pass it to Joe. Oh, here, he done got it. Oh, okay. Item number four is recognized here. We got a sign in sheet for one of them. Want to thank everybody for being here. <coughs> and item number five is new business. Tim, you got any new business to discuss with us? Well, we've been busy. Um, Covered another stolen vehicle. Over the, we did a 36 hour operation. We had over 20 guys of our guys out, um, put nine in jail for drug and uh, theft violations, saw three bur three burglaries, also recovered a stolen vehicle during that operation. Um, biggest thing is um, had pursuit the other night, uh, Christmas Eve night on Keogh Laney Road, and they took out 120 feet of fence. They, to get away from the police, they went through the rodeo ground arenas, barbed wire fence there. So we're going to be um, replacing that. It's about 120 feet of fence, but I don't see that it's the Roundup Club's responsibility. The vehicle, we're checking to see if they have the insurance. It doesn't appear they do. Um, there was a Parker vehicle, um, so um, passenger in the vehicle was let go. It was trucky. He was the passenger, wouldn't tell who the driver was. So, um, we're going to go oh, back. Excuse me. Fix that fence. Might see if your guys can help us one day get that fence fixed. Is that, um, was that barbed wire or high? Barbed wire. Barbed wire fence. Mm -hmm. um, just, been, been, just been really busy. The guy, I mean, call volume is extremely high. Of course, it's Christmas time. So, other than that, everything is pretty smooth. If they, if they were carrying liability insurance, would it pay for the fence? We don't know. We, we don't even think they have any insurance. Have that. Um, and then it'd probably have a deductible and it meet that first. <clears throat> we got it's got one T post out and about you know probably between eighty and one hundred twenty feet of fences, and the fence is all there. Um, it could be able to be restretched, maybe put back up. I don't. I don't know. I I'm not a fence guy, but. Um, what kind I, of shape it's in? It might be easier to just put those. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's. I, I just don't think it's around a club responsibility. Um, but yeah, we'll help out on it. Okay. Jail side of thing is going really smooth. Um, we did have to take the inmate to the hospital, and I was set to set on him wherever we had to go. Um, go back and review the video. He jumped from the top. To the bottom on purpose he <coughs> ran the ran the length of the of the of the pier at the top where that you know where the walkway is up there he wrapped himself in a blanket he ran it about three times before he got the nerve to do it and then he went head first down the stairs and just went all the way to the end trying to get out of jail so we took him to the hospital everything was okay with him said he's gonna be bruised and sore but like i told mitch at the jail we would have sat with him we're not wouldn't have mattered have, if we had to go to Tulsa, we was going to set with him for the simple fact that that's what he did to try to get out of jail is um, went head first down the, down the big ramp, the big stairs. So, and it's the end of the year. It is. Went by fast. We heard anything on the windows lately? I haven't heard nothing, and I, I, every time I drive by, it looks as if they've been here, but they was here a day or two, wasn't they? Mm -hmm. They got the frames, a lot of the frames done, and, and, and they're sitting around upstairs. I did have Ron go up and clean a little bit up there here and pick things up uh, on Robin's end. Uh, so he has got yeah. frames built here? Mm -hmm. How many? I would say probably a little more than half of them. Because they told me that once they built the frames, because they're going to vary a little bit 
they would have to order the glass pre-cut and it would take a little bit to get the glass in. So he also told me he'd install the frames and then cut that plywood to fit into the frame while the glass would be in order. So possibly if he's got the frames built, he's got the glass got ordered the glass so he can put it all at one time. I don't know. Maybe he built frames and come and sized them and then measured other holes and went back to build them and possibly got the glass orders made. I have a popcorn. Yeah. But they, it, they are some of so them. There there's some progress. Yeah, there's some progress. <clears throat> uh, last week, uh, I passed out to elected officials and election board um, a paper next uh, June, January the 4th from 9 to 11. I will be out there at the EMS building and we're going to color code whatever items go to the elected officials. And then that way, uh, we'll be starting on the auction. They'll take a list and get it approved by the commissioners. So we'll kind of get that started. I did take a list out, uh, Tim, if y'all had anything that y'all could do. I don't know if we're yeah. going to have it. It's just something to think about. And I was going to get with Clark and then when Billy came in also uh, to see what we could have if we have anything. <coughs> so we'll be working on that. I think I've got one pizza. <coughs> Have we ever figured out anything else on funds to pay on the note? It was being checked. On the uh, junior loan? Note. No. Uh, the 50000 was paid, and there's 138000 left. We can roll it over. Um, I did talk to uh, Chris, and I've talked to Debbie, and uh, we can roll that. Go ahead and roll over. It doesn't have to have anything done until no, June, at all until June 30th June. Mm -hmm. of, the, of, of 2019. And then there'll probably be another extension filed if it's not paid. It's not paid. So there wasn't any funds in other accounts? We're going, we, you don't have to, we don't have to do anything more. We can wait till Billy comes in and have him look and see what he needs and how much is there. And then we can move forward on that. So. Because Paul stated he had enough in different accounts to do it. And, and there's, there's not he, that much. He, and he asked Lee. I mean, he can't, he can't run it below right. a certain mm -hmm. right. amount by law. So. And that amount is in there with some more. And then we've got <clears> a, uh, our December uh, deposit already for this month. So. Okay, moving on to item six, commissioner proceedings from previous meeting. The only one I have, and it's been corrected in the minutes, um, was on the ETR account number, and it was corrected in the minutes. Uh, I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, I, there was just three letters that were left out on the agenda, but they have been corrected into the minutes. And I'll make a motion on number six. I'll second it. Same as that? Yes. Part one, three. Yes. $1,600 for Performance Foods, SCA2. $600 for Fleet Corps, SJF2. That's the blanket bill for this week. I'll make a motion on number seven. I'll second it. Same for that. Yes. Yes. Item number eight, discuss and consider approving monthly report for the election. <laughs> I'll make a motion we approve that. I'll second Item 
number nine discuss the consider going out for bid for a new grader for district one and this is to replace our lease grader that went back in september and i'll make that motion Discuss and take possible action to approve 321-24A <coughs> for Foster Parcels District 14 and 18 on Loma Valley, job piece 28507. Debbie, this part signed it. Yeah. Y'all all sign it. Both of us? Mm-hmm. Okay. But the C sign in the You'll sign up on the right yeah. top, right hand corner. Yeah. Clark will sign it in two places. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we approve this action. I second it. Clark's there. Yeah. Same as that. Yes. Does that mean the rest of the Lone Valley is getting paved? Is that what I'm understanding? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the new part, and then we're going to pave on around to the highway to 31. When's that going to start? Uh, probably it'll be late summer or fall. Is that when your house is probably doing? Should be. <laughs> Have you started? I'm still traffic control after then. It needs it now. It sure needs it now. Sign appropriations, transfer of appropriations, check received, and DO. I'll make that motion. <clears throat> Clark, have you seen any movement on cross telephone on Star Road? No. They have until January 1. For what? Yeah. Well, they're going to move that fiber optic, don't they? I guess so. The third deadline is January 1. Sounds like they're going to make it. Well, we'll have to see that one. Proceed from here. So, what happens if they don't move it? <coughs> <laughs> Things might happen. <laughs> well, they've been they've been doing um, tomahawk. I don't. That's the same. No, I think but, you got AT and T. Yeah. Yeah, oh, AT and T is right. always like. So what if they don't? What if they don't move it? Or move, do you have to go to court and get them to get a court order to move it? Well, it's. it's I don't know. You threaten them. How many miles do they have to go? We're gonna go out there and cut that line. 
you know, I mean, that can be done. Know, they have to move three and a half miles or you send a notice in my hands, you got so many days because you have documentation that the meeting was held two years ago, three years ago. They've had plenty of time. Plenty of time. You know, that new guy uh, talked like that there wouldn't be no more waiting on cross since he was in ball. But yeah, we heard that from Mr. Alexander, too, when he come in. And they've already been through three project managers, and they had the meeting. We had a utility meeting over two years ago. They've had plenty of that time to relocate their, their line. When do you think they'll have Kyoto Landy finished? She could probably tell you more. Which one? Kyoto Landing. Kyoto Landing. Do, 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 do. In the next weather permit, in probably 60, 80 days. Because I think it had 120 on it. Yeah. 120 days. So, and I think it's going pretty good, pretty smooth over there. Yeah. They've got the floor for it in the bridge. So yeah, it's 60 days then. Probably 60. Bridge. Yeah, the bridge is almost. Mm -hmm. And it's just an overlay on the west, so it should go pretty fast. What's the reason that they cut those, where they cut pieces out of that road and it, what's, what's the reason for Well, that? They, they put in uh, drainage, new, 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 new drainage pipes. I hadn't been there during the day, I would throw it over the night. Yeah, there was like four of those, weren't there? I think so. And they were concrete yeah. drainage pipes. Then well, there was another one to go in by the school they had to put in there. Yeah. yeah, there's fixing to be a lot going on in Haskell County. A lot. Well, Tom keep us busy. Tom Hall, Star Road, and Lona Valley. And then we got they broke Lake. into the. Yeah, Grassy Lake, and then PV Road is happening, so everything's coming together. Took a little time to put it together, but it's coming together now. They broke into the the people doing it. They broke in and stole one of their stampers, is that what they're called? I think they called it, where they, they packs the stuff in. It was, I don't remember what they called it, but a big piece of equipment that you hold manually and, and packs everything in. Stole one of those, stole a generator. The only thing I wish they would do you're not leaders anyway, but if them contractors would put a motion light up on their building, there's no lights. Um, when you're out there like that, yeah, you know, it's pitch, pitch black. They put some sort of motion <coughs> light, so they ain't going to keep them from stealing, but, but at least it'd let somebody driving by know that, hey, somebody's been here. Because mm -hmm. we drive those areas quite a bit, and, mm -hmm. you know, we, we don't know it until we get a phone call the next day. But if there was a light on, we would say, hey, that light's not supposed to be on. We'd, Stop and check it. That's a good thought. Good idea.
There's no other business. We'll move on to item 12, and that's the adjournment. I'll make a motion. 